Hey everybody, welcome to episode 2 of Undertale English and Japanese Comparison. Last time we made it through the ruins, and in this episode we'll be meeting a fan favorite character. So, Sans is still Sans, but what has changed is the font used to display his dialogue. Instead of Comic Sans, it's now a font called Pop, or to be more precise, Soekaku Pop Butai. It has similar connotations in Japan as Comic Sans in English. Though since his name still references the Comic Sans font, I imagine some Japanese players may not be aware of the joke unless they know English means. The Japanese wiki also speculates about a possible second meaning to Sans's name, but I'll talk about it a little bit later. As far as pronouns go, Sans uses Oida to refer to himself, and that decision actually came as quite a surprise to some Japanese players, or quite a few of them. See, before the release of the official English version, they had been arguing over whether Sans should use Ore or Boku. Now, Oida is stereotypically associated with country bumpkin type characters. Whether that fits Sans's character or not, well, it's up to personal opinion. By the way, when Sans mentions Papyrus, you can see that he refers to him as Ototo or younger brother. So, we now finally have official confirmation that Sans is indeed the older brother of the skeleton duo. And speaking of the devil, once we come face to face with Papyrus, well, let me address the most obvious thing first. His dialogue in the Japanese version is written from top to bottom, right to left. This is the traditional way Japanese has been written, though nowadays it can be written either left to right, like all the other texts in the game, or top to bottom. By the way, even in English, Papyrus has a unique way of speaking. He is the only character whose lines don't begin with an asterisk. I know you're probably most curious about the skeleton puns, but before that, there is a rather interesting change to another one of Papyrus's lines. In English it goes, What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. In Japanese it's, Ningen no shudai ni sonaeru no da. Or, I'll be ready for a human invasion. As in, he actually uses the word for invasion, shudai. I also can't not talk about all the interesting ways in which Papyrus refers to himself. First of all, he calls himself Papyrusu Sama. Sama is a very polite honorific, and using it with your own name shows a great deal of arrogance, just like calling himself the Great Papyrus. As a matter of fact, he also calls himself Idainaru Papyrusu Sama where Idainaru means the great something, so it's like double the arrogance. He also uses Ore-sama as his pronoun, which is kind of like saying the great and wonderful me. So, pro tip, don't use Papyrus as a role model when speaking Japanese. Also, fun fact, where English Papyrus calls Sans lazy bones, in Japanese, he refers to him as Kusare Skeleton or Rotten Skeleton. So the pun here is gone, but just so that the Japanese players wouldn't be shortchanged when it comes to puns, there is a new one right afterwards. The line, all you do is sit and boondoggle became Onek sohojitte bakka no kseni. The expression Hanakso hojiru means to pick your nose, but here, hana was replaced with hone. So now it's like, all you do is pick your bones. Don't ask me how that works. Next, a line that you didn't think would be changed, 
you got lazier and lazier every day became so narato erai hito ni narenai da you won't become a big show like this this sign changed because it's a setup for the upcoming pun the first of sans's puns don't sweat it i've got a ton of work done today a skeleton in japanese it's it might not look like it, but my future is looking bright. Skeleton na dake ni. As expected of a skeleton. The key here is the tonton bioshi expression, which means smoothly or swimmingly, as in something is going swimmingly, which is then tied into the word skeleton. And yes, it uses the English word here. If you're curious, there's also a proper Japanese word for a skeleton, gaikotsu. But the English word is used more often for living skeletons, let's say, like characters in a cartoon or a video game. By the way, to the joke, Papyrus replies Samu, where in English he just calls Sans's name. This comes from Samui, cold. In Japanese, bad jokes can be cold jokes. But we're not done with the puns here yet. In the second one, Sans goes, Wow, sounds like you're working yourself to the bone. In Japanese, it's Tama ni kata no chikara no keyo. You should try letting the tension out of your shoulders sometimes. So they ga Honto no hone yasume. That be a real rest for your bones. See, there is an expression, hone yasume, which means to rest one's wings, like when you're talking about a bird, for example. But here, hane, the word for wing, has been replaced by the word for a bone, hone. And finally, we have papyrus's pun. As for your work, Put more backbone into it. Or in Japanese, Nichan wa honto ni hone no zui made namake mono da na. You're really lazy down to the bone. Note that he also refers to Sans as Nicha, which is a very affectionate way to speak about your older brother. And that's it for the puns for now. By the way, if you check this guard station, You'll notice that it says it's full of open containers of ketchup, mustard, and pickles. In English, it was relish instead of pickles. Yes, I know relish is a type of pickled food, but the Japanese word used here refers to this, not this. Okay, I know I'm nitpicky. Next, the human finally gets to actually talk to Papyrus. And that's when we learn that he refers to the human as Kisama, which is a very rude way of saying you, and you probably won't hear it outside of anime and games. So, as I said before, don't try to speak like Papyrus. I suppose this is as good time as any to talk about the monsters that appear in this area. The first one people are likely to run into is Snow Drake and there is quite a bit to unpack here. First of all, he's called Owaraicho in Japanese, a combination of the words for comedian and bird. He also speaks in a very noticeable Kansai dialect. This probably has to do with the fact that this dialect is strongly associated with comedy, because of a large number of Kansai-speaking comedians who appear in Japanese media. There is also a new pun that wasn't here in the English version. When you pick the option to tell him a joke, you get the message Kori neta no samui dajare o itta. You made a bad joke about eyes. And this one, once again, uses the fact that in Japanese, bad jokes are cold jokes. The next one is Ice Cap. In Japanese, his name is Hyobo. The hyo part, I assume, uh, comes from the word for hail. The bo is written with a kanji 
for child or boy, but when you check Ice Cap's description, it says that it's actually supposed to be the bow from Bossy, the word for hat. And if you take away his hat, he loses the bow and becomes just Hyo. Jerry's name is still the same in Japanese, and in fact the Japanese version even has the Return of Jerry text still in English. Doggo is the first dog we meet. In Japanese, his name is Wanbo. Wan is the Japanese onomatopoeia for barking, but to be honest, I'm not quite sure what his name is supposed to be referencing. Is it perhaps a pun on Rambo? I really don't know. By the way, the word one appears in the guard station of every dog in the game, even in the English version. The lesser dog's name hasn't changed the description, however. In English, it's Wheels a Stone Dogger made of pomegranate. In Japanese, pomegranate was translated as Pomerani Gan, Gan coming from the word for rock. The dogger pun is actually still the same, which makes sense since Japanese uses the English word for dagger. Dugami and Dogaresa have been renamed to Inusu and Inusa respectively. Their names come from the word Inu combined with their quirk in speaking. Dogami tends to end his sentences in Su and Dogaresa ends hers in Sa. Or do they speak like that because of their names? Who knows? Giftrot's name hasn't changed. Neither has greater dogs. However, his attacks were changed from little barks to ones. Perhaps it's an obvious change, but for some reason I just find it cute. And that's all for the enemies. So now for some more random stuff in this area. In Sans's speech about blue stop signs in Japanese, he talks about blue traffic lights instead. It's just as confusing as ever, but the interesting thing is that in Japan there actually are blue traffic lights because the word ao can refer to both blue and green. If you've been wondering what nice cream is called now, it's still ice cream. That's because ice cream is just called ice cream in Japanese. The dog houses of Dogamion de Goresa, instead of just being labeled his and hers, are now labeled Darling and Honey. The word search was mostly translated word for word and it's still unsolvable. The character ICE got renamed to Burudokun which might come from the word Buru Buru, the onomatopoeia for shivering. Sans's line, Papyrus finds difficulty in interesting places, was translated as Papyrusu no atama wa futsu janai, which literally means Papyrus's head or mind isn't normal. And finally, the gauntlet of deadly terror. In Japanese, it's called Kyofu no Shikei Shikko Machine, or the Execution Machine of Fear. Scary. And with this, we made it to the town entrance. In the next episode, we'll step inside and see the surprises waiting for us there.